This battery from inside an electric car was brought in for recycling after a crash. It's now up to these workers to sell off its scrap metal and process its lithium cells. We'll grind it down, we get the black sand and then we're exporting that. There are now more than 100,000 EVs on our roads, but no national plan for what to do with old batteries. We're not seeing huge amounts of electric vehicle batteries coming to end of life currently, but um, this could become you know, a much larger waste stream. The researchers' new modelling shows there will be 30,000 tonnes of EV batteries to deal with by 2030, and this will soar exponentially to 1.6 million by mid-century. Given the rapid rate of expansion of the industry, we really can't afford to wait until those batteries arrive to find the solution. Libby Chaplin heads up a national body that's working with car makers to come up with a long-term plan. The World Bank predicts that we're going to have an increase of three billion tonnes of battery metals needed. We need to be conserving these materials now. The Battery Stewardship Council is also worried about lithium batteries ending up in landfill. They have toxic materials inside them that can leach and they also can catch fire. This truck was set up specifically to transport the batteries in case they explode. Car makers who are selling EVs here say they're working with recyclers like EcoBat. These are only going to get more of them. They're going to become more and more part of a day-to-day -day life. To ensure renewable energy is truly sustainable. Amelia Turzon, ABC News.